Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and in today's video, we're going to demonstrate Laser Design's new Cyber Gauge 360, which is powered by Cyber Optics technology. And basically, what this system is is a highly automated, high accuracy uh, 3D scanning system, basically, a non contact scanning system. Uh, think of it as a scanner in a box where you're going to put a part in here, it's going to automatically scan it, and it's going to run an inspection report and give you the results. So it's really meant for shop floor type production scanning. Could be doing the same part over and over, could be doing many different parts. Okay? The basic uh, way this system works is uh, you open up the lid here, you've got a scanning system uh, above and below the part, and then you've got a piece of optically clear glass here in the middle, you take your part, uh, you place it right here in the middle, no fixturing required, just set it right on the glass plate, shut the door, and hit the, hit the inspect button. And what it's going to do, uh, those scanners are going to scan the part from top to bottom while at the same time rotating it around so that it can get 360 degree coverage on most parts, take that highly accurate uh, point cloud, which you know, could be thousands to millions of points, bring it in, uh, this system is integrated with Polyworks, which is really the de facto uh, standard for this kind of uh, 3D scanning. It's going to bring it into Polyworks. Polyworks is highly customizable. Uh, with a, you can use it and do a lot of automation with it. And it's going to automatically load the CAD model, do any kind of alignment you're using, and generate the report and give you the results all with the push of a button. The nice thing about Polyworks is the programming of this inspection report does not have to be done here. It could be done and typically it would be done offline. The operator here may not um, uh, know how to you know, generate a report in GD&T and all that. So that can be done offline. You just simply import the CAD, generate your report, send it back down here to the system. Um, you can even have a barcode uh, on your part, scan it. It'll automatically load that inspection report and do the scanning. So it's literally one button scanning, uh, really meant for more of a production environment where you want to be able to quickly scan parts. Most, scan, most parts scan in a couple of minutes um, and, and you have a report almost instantly. So what we'll do next is we'll take a closer look inside the scanner and actually show you how it works and then we'll walk through the whole process and 3D scan a part and do an inspection so you can see what the whole process actually takes. Okay, so here we are taking a look inside the system. And what you have here is a structured light 3D scanning system above and below the part. And this is some of the uh, cyber optics technology which uh, they've been known for in the industry. Very, very high accuracy, high density um, scanning systems, okay? And what structured light is, is basically uh, it's called white light scanning, blue light, blue LED, structured light, fringe pattern, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a pattern, a structured pattern of light. It's projected out by this projector here in the middle, um, focused down on the part here, and that structured pattern will shift across the part. Um, uh, and as that moves across the part, these sensors are looking at the distortion to that pattern through a process called triangulation. So they're all focused here on the, on the table. So this system is scanning down, looking at it from the right and the left. And then what's hard to see below is the exact same system pointed up. And it's, the key thing here is this optically clear glass, the structured light is passing through and the, the two sensors below are looking at. So this part is being scanned from the top and the bottom at the same time. Um, it, it will, it will send out the structured light, capture it, do it then for the bottom, and then that whole plate will rotate a user-defined amount and do it again. So it's going to slowly index around and scan the part. So most parts will take, you know, 30 seconds to maybe a couple minutes to scan, and all the user does is opens up the door, sets the part down on the plate, closes the lid, and hits scan. Now, you can use fixturing. There may be some parts that are just better um, uh, to fixture and there's some fixturing you can use here even with a vacuum uh, holding system if required but most parts can be just set on the plate and scanned. Um, now the the system um, you have some user-defined settings on how how much you index each time 
um, the power of the structured light, uh, the speed of the sensors, and that's all driven by uh, the, the uh, surface conditions of the part. If it's black or shiny, you may need more power. Um, if, it's, uh, if it's flatter and let's say white, you can scan faster and less power. So you will adjust those settings and that's all stored as part of the program. Um, and so it's, it's fully automated. So once you kind of figure out the right strategy for a part, it's, it's all part of that automated program and inspection process. It only has to be done once. And we'll show that here in a minute. But basically what you're doing is you're uh, capturing thousands to millions of points through this non-contact structured light process and you're getting down to sub 10 um, uh, micron accuracy and, and 5 micron type re repeatability. So very, very good uh, for a non-contact system and again, the more complicated your part, the better this is because you're going to get millions and millions of points. So again, you just drop your part in there, shut the, shut the lid and, and scan. And what's nice about the, the, the having it in the box is you control the light condition. So if you were out more in a shop floor and there was welding and other things going on, um, uh, you know, structured light systems don't like that change in, in, in that lighting while they're scanning. It can, it can basically throw it off and you don't want that to happen. So it's all in a nice enclosed uh, box. Uh, it's an eight inch diameter uh, by about four inches tall is the scanning volume that the system can see as you scan. Um, if you had a part too big, you might be able to place it on there a couple times, but, um, but basically parts in that size is really what this is meant for. So that's basically how it works. Uh, next, we'll show you the actual running the program and, and actually running the scanner so you can kind of see how it works. Okay, so what you see here is uh, you can see the top projector system has come on. It's projecting that light pattern onto the part and then doing the scanning and now the bottom uh, projector system is on. And it's all line of sight, which is why uh, we need the optically clear glass and uh, the, the multiple systems so we can get the top and bottom. But you can see that structured pattern um, as you scan the part, it shifts across the part and it's, it's collecting millions and millions of points. So it's simply indexing, projecting that light pattern uh, to collect those points. Uh, and it'll do the top, then the bottom, rotate, top, bottom. So this whole part will probably take less than a minute to scan. Okay, so here you see the Polyworks software and the scanner is starting up and starting to take the first scan. So each uh, scan set will actually be two scans because again you have two sensors in the top and two in the bottom. So for each position there's a total of four scans and this scan data starts out as point cloud data. Uh, when it's all done it'll merge them all together. So as the table is indexing, uh, it's then taking four scans uh, uh, and you can see that data all automatically aligns because those cameras are all in a fixed position uh, and they, uh, they know where the center of the table and the center of rotation is. So you can see how quickly it's taking those scans, um, indexing, uh, taking the next four scans, uh, which again is actually just the, uh, two scans in the sense of the projector comes on once, the two sensors pick up the data from each, each angle. Uh, and then you can see it's all perfectly aligned as it goes along. Okay, so this part will take roughly about 30 seconds to scan. And again, uh, a big part that may be really complicated with lots of uh, features, um, you know, could take maybe up to a, a couple of minutes, but most, most parts scan pretty quickly. And again, there's no fixturing done here. Operator just simply sets the part on the table, closes the door, and lets it start scanning. So what will happen once this is all done, uh, the, the scanning is uh, complete, it will um, take a minute to merge all those data sets. So basically take the individual point cloud data and merge it into one polygon file, which is also a, a triangulated mass, mesh, which is basically uh, just triangles. Uh, turns that into that uh, polygon mesh. Then it's going to run the automatically in Polyworks, run the inspection report. First thing it'll do is the alignment. So for example, if it's a datum alignment, it'll align all the datums or do a best fit. 
uh, then it's going to run the report. And the report could be uh, just a few things uh, all the way up to, you know, hundreds of things. So it just all depends. So now it's uh, running the report and it'll spit that report out as either a PDF file or an Excel spreadsheet where you may be taking that data to some downstream, you know, SPC or, or other operations. So once it's done, um, we've set it up to, to save a PDF file uh, of our report. So there's our CAD data. Um, we see the part number, all the information about it, and then we get some color coding um, uh, with a deviation map to show us um, what we were looking for. In this case, there was uh, just a few uh, things we were inspecting, the flatness of the part and some other things. So uh, we take the part out, we put the next part in, and off we go. So this whole process probably took less than a minute to, to two minutes to scan this part, generate the report, and again, all the data is saved. So just to wrap up, the uh, CyberGage 360 is literally a scanner in a box, uh, push button operation. Once you've built that report uh, and set up your uh, uh, scanning settings, you place the part, close it, hit scan, and within one to two minutes, typically, you've got a report, and then you just keep repeating that process for as many parts as you have.